Gaussian the length L the intensity at this point is Q0 and we're going to do the same thing again we will change this to our resultant force FR and we want to know exactly how far that load should be acting <coughs> so uh, a loading like that is known as triangular distributed loading ok so the resultant FR is an integration Q dx so we need Q as function of x and since the load I mean again this is your x axis this is going to be the y axis so <coughs> I can write this as Q0 x over L because when x is 0 the intensity is 0 when x is L the intensity is Q0 so if that's the loading then your resultant would be an integration Q0 x over L dx then you need the limits so <coughs> this goes from 0 all the way up to L so we're looking at x as 0 and x as L so that will be Q0 <coughs> and you need to do the integration it's Q0 over L you have x squared over 2 going from 0 to L and <coughs> that will be Q0 L over 2 so that's what you get as the resultant force then <coughs> to find the location you get x bar fr that's the moment here and that's an integration of q which is a function of x times x dx so <coughs> in here I can write this as q0 x over l that's the load times x dx then you have integration which is going from 0 all the way up to L so your equation will be say x bar f r is q0 L over 2 now we need to do the integration here q0 is constant L is constant that comes out of the integration you have x and x x is square so integration is going to be x cube over 3 within limits 0 to oil so that's q 0 and we're going to have l square divided by 3 so <coughs> x bar should be q 0 l square over 3 divided by q 0 l over 2 and that comes out to be two-third of L so if you had a <coughs> triangle loading this quantity here came out to be Q0 L over 2 this quantity here came out to be two-third of L now <coughs> if you go back to the original loading you notice this area that's a rectangle I'm saying it's a triangle so it's Q0 times L divided by 2 so that was the area for the rectangle and that's exactly what you have as the resultant force then for the triangle here if that's the base then its own center of gravity is going to be a third from the base I mean if you remember the physics then the center of gravity of a triangle is third from the base and that's exactly <coughs> this distance is L third so again <coughs> for 
are loading like this, you don't have to go to the integration. You go right from here to here. That means you find the area of the tri uh, triangle that should be a resultant, and then you place the loading at third from the base. So <coughs> if you had, let's say, a case like this, 